If you're about to ask me why the fuck are you wearing a 1D Ramon shirt with like a denim jacket and literally like office pants, I'm going through a personal style quest so I'm wearing really weird things. Um, hey guys, what's up? It's Lid, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming an updated skincare routine. I filmed one of these videos just over a year ago now and essentially all the products I use are Switch so I figured it was fun and applicable to film an updated version, showing you guys what I use now. Um... The skincare products that I use now are a little more high-end because my mom decided to help me like invest in my skincare so she's been helping me buy some stuff. Um, other than that, there's only like one product that I use that's the same as last year. So I'm going to brush my teeth, put on some deodorant, and then we're going to get into it. Okay, so first we're going to talk cleanser. So the cleanser that I have been using since about October now, didn't even realize I have like almost done left. This is the Clinique Liquid Mild Facial Soap. Um, it's like a foaming cleanser, um, it's like a translucent kind of type situation, and this is one of the steps of the Clinique Free Step, which is what I have been using, which is kind of pricey, but I got it with fairly, for a fairly good deal, so, um, it's been pretty good. Um, it's not, like, exfoliating or anything like that, um, but it is very good to just kind of, like, clean off, um, the day off your face, I guess or start the day off fresh in the morning. I use it morning and night, so um, we're gonna do that. Okay, so I just wet my face, just like my hands, then I'm gonna take out like yay much. Rub it between my hands and then I make sure to try and get all around, get like the sides of my face. I feel like people always forget the sides of their face with like everything. And then I just rinse it off. I forgot to mention before washing my face, um, is the kind of type of skin that I have. So I'm dealing with like acne and like kind of weirdly combination skin. My skin is honestly all a mess. Um, and it's kind of shitty right now. But um, I'm essentially not caring anything with what I do just because like I'm not doing a bunch of like really good acne treatments to be completely honest with you but I'm keeping it from getting like much worse which is um you know good enough for me for now so um yeah I want to try and get and like buy get into in more acne type things I've heard really good about the the Mario Badescu acne thing the drying cream which I want to try next um so I'll let you know how that goes but I quickly wanted to show you guys the exfoliator that I use which is the Burt's Bees Cranberry and pomegranate sugar scrub, um, which is actually like a body scrub, but um, I use this on my face in the shower two or three times a week to um, get all the gross stuff out of my pores, and I really like it because it's super like heavy. As you can see, there's like actual like pomegranate seeds in there, which are really nice mixed with like sugar. So um. You can physically see everything like coming off on your hands and that's the most satisfying thing and you just know how much you're cleaning out everything which is absolutely fantastic. So I definitely recommend using like a heavier exfoliator on your face. Not like every day, maybe not even every two days, but you know, somewhat frequently. So what I use for toner is the second step of the Clinique 3 Step, which I have had since October. It's a fairly huge bottle and I've used this much so you can kind of see how long it lasts, I guess. I don't, at least for me. Um, this is the Clinique Clarifying Lotion, which is just a toner. It's kind of chemically, which I'm not crazy about, but it is like a really good toner. So I guess I do like kind of, you know, I'm willing to deal with like putting probably bad chemicals on my face in order to really get the shape out of the pores. Um, and so I just, obviously I do this twice a day, morning and night. Um, like it says on here, twice a day exfoliator. It's not really an exfoliator, I don't know why they call it that. I guess you're getting dead skin off, but just getting all the like gross stuff off your skin, makeup residue, I don't know, stuff out of your pores, dead skin maybe, like, it's not like there's any like textured thing getting stuff off, but I guess those, those chemicals are doing their thing. And it's good in the morning to kind of get off stuff, and then you can kind of see. It does get shit off. And I used to not use toner, if you saw my last year skin care routine. And honestly, using toner has been such a life-changing thing because I just feel like I'm getting my skin so much cleaner. Like, my face just feels fresher, honestly. I also just find it so fun and really satisfying. Hey, ladies. 
Drink water, it's good for your skin and your like brain and literally everything. So when I'm feeling really lazy, um, I use Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Makeup Removing Wipes. I like these because these are good for like sensitive skin. I was using Neutrogena Makeup Removing Wipes, but they were like really gross and they left weird residue and like they kind of burn. Um, so these ones are better for my skin. More just like sensitive. So when I'm feeling lazy as fuck, I don't even want to wash my face, which happens sometimes when I just like fall asleep with all my makeup on. Instead of doing that, I got these. So I keep them on my bedside table and just like at least only all the like foundation on my face. As for like eye makeup remover and um, when I actually want to put more effort in, I put this on like a cotton thing. Um, it's the Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, which I use to break down eye makeup really well. Um, you definitely have to wash your face after using this because it kind of leaves weird residue, but like all eye makeup removers do. But I also use this kind of all over my face sometimes if I'm wearing. Who's hitting me up? Liam Payne is tweeting shit. Um, I use this if I'm wearing like heavier makeup or like, honestly when I put on my makeup in the morning and don't reapply it at all throughout the day, washing my face and doing toner and stuff kind of gets off on my face makeup because it's already kind of breaking down. But if I put on makeup like more recently to when I'm taking it off, I use this to kind of like help get all the shit out. Now we're going to talk the thing that I use like maybe once a week. I actually haven't used this in like two weeks now. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foaming Cleanser slash Purifying Mask. I know my mom uses this as like a cleanser, but it's so heavy moisturizing that if I use this as a cleanser, my skin will be a fucking oil factory. So, I use it as a mask like once or twice a week. Um, I use it mostly on like Saturdays, which is my self-care day. Um... And I'll just show you how I do that. I leave it on for like 10 minutes and my skin just feels like living. Like it's actually living and it feels so soft and so refreshed and just wonderful. First I get my face wet. I just take a bunch of this. Yay much on the back of my hand. It, you kind of need a lot. Um, and you just put it on like you would any other like mask like this and you wait for it to dry for like 10 minutes so i'll see you in a bit it has come time to wash this off when you wash it off it gets like foamy as fuck so it takes like a while to wash off like it's really intense you don't even understand how soft and revived and good my face feels right now i'm living okay now i'm nearing the end of this holy shit ah it feels so good my nighttime moisturizer is the moisturizer from the Clinique 3 Step. This is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I'll have all the products listed in the description if you're like not catching all this. Um, also, I don't know how well this is focusing. I have it on like autofocus. Um, okay. So I use this at night and my skin is feeling drier. Sometimes I use it in the day too if I'm going through like dryness, which I do a lot in my win in the winters here because where I live, we have like really dry cold winters. It's just like, it's too cold to snow sometimes. It's pretty much minus 30 degrees, like Celsius, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, like minus 10 maybe? I don't know, that's, I have no idea, don't take this number. Just Google in like what minus 30 is Celsius, like every day for like three months. Then my daytime moisturizer is one I literally got as a Sephora sample. This is the Jack Black, I think that says. Authentic and original clean break oil-free moisturizer with organic white tea and niacinamide i have no idea what that is it's a little tiny guy and i like oil free moisturizer during the day because it doesn't produce so much more oil like under my makeup um because i do kind of have pretty oily skin i just put like yay much on the back of my hand and i like to dot my moisturizer on don't ask me why i just do i always have Look insane. And my little recommendation here is I like, this is this little pod moisturizer with a label that's like coming off because it got wet in like a travel bag. Um, this is a super thick moisturizer that I got at like the little like, like handmade village, like shopping, like hippie shopping center of um, a music festival. Um, and so it's a super duper thick moisturizer. My friend recommended it to me because she had got it like two years in a row. Um, at the festival and so I've, I keep this on hand and I just use it on dry patches and stuff that I sometimes get throughout the colder months um, and so I just put this on before I go to sleep and in the morning the dry patch is like completely cleaned up but I don't recommend using this all over your face it would literally be so like thick and moisturized 
you would just be a puddle. I did it once and it was so bad. And I don't know what this is called or where you can get it or where you can get anything similar. But I just recommend like a tiny little pot of super thick moisturizer. The last product I'm going to show you here is um, the only product... Focus. The only product that I have in this video that was in my last year's video. Actually, it might have been the other bottle. Clinically has two different bottles of their acne, like, spot treatment. Who knows? Anyways, um... This is, and I don't know the difference because I don't read the labels and they work literally the same. This is the Invisible Blemish Treatment and um, it's a salicylic acid acne medication gel. And I put this on morning and night on just like breakouts. I have a problem area on my forehead for the last couple months, which like it doesn't cure, but just like individual stuff, like when I get them like on my cheeks or anything, this will clear up. So I use that on that. I also have a really bad habit of like popping stuff. I, I just put it on my forehead anyway to like see if one day it'll just like work a miracle. But um, smaller stuff, it does fight. But I want to try a different product just to see, you know, if it works any differently. But this is the best thing that I found like so far. I quickly just wanted to show you a couple more products that I use frequently that I'm not going to be using right now, but I just wanted to show you them. So I like using Lush Lip Scrub. My current one that I have is the Honey. Um, it's in French because I got it in Quebec. It's miel. Um, and I love Lush Lip Scrubs. Put them on before you like deep moisturize your lips and you're just getting all the dead stuff on before you moisturize or off before you moisturize and it's so great. Also, I'm out of breath because I just ran out of my mouth. Also, these just taste so good. So, I'm going to do it right now. Splendid. You can like lick your lips after. It's safe. It says so on the product. My favorite hand and body moisturizer is Lush Charity Pot. I like how like thick and like good and really just gets the, the goat. What? Um, this moisturizer is also has a really nice like like kind of like light smell. Um, and I like how all of these are 100% benefiting charity. This one is for family at Trans Career Liberation Movement. For lip balm, I use a mix of the Nivea Essential, just like their classic unscented lip balm. Looks like this. Typically use this one before bed. And then I have Smith's Rosebud Solve, which I use throughout the day. This also smells really good. I always like to have a Lush face mask in my fridge. My favorite ones are the green one, Cupcake, the, one, the garlicky one, and um, Rosy Cheeks. But the one that I have right now is Cosmetic Catastrophe, which is for like calming disaster skin. Which I kind of needed because my skin's just been a mess of like dry, oily, acne, everything that could possibly go wrong. So I was like, hmm, what can I use to calm this down? And this apparently does it. Um, it's not my favorite. It smells really good. It kind of has a weird texture and it dries really fast. So you have to like take it off before it can actually do anything, which kind of sucks, but like it's okay. Um, I just use water with it, which helps it like dry slower. It's not my favorite, probably wouldn't repurchase this one, but like maybe it's doing something. But I always have one of these on hand. That's everything. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you want to see. You know, tell me if you want to stick around. I don't really know. Um, I have other videos coming up soon. Possibly maybe an 80s Stranger Things lookbook. You never know. That, that's my next video. I just, you know. Um, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. I love you very much. Follow on my social medias below to keep up with me and see what I'm doing before my, or in between my <laughs> admittedly very rare uploads. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!